Three bears live in a house in the middle of the forest. There is a big daddy bear, a medium-sized mummy bear, and a tiny little... Bear! The three bears eat porridge for breakfast. Most people like their porridge hot, but bears love cold porridge. Ugh. Mummy bear sets the table, then the family goes for a walk while the porridge cools down. Look, they're going for a walk. Goldilocks. Goldilocks is also walking in the forest. She collects berries and sings to herself. She gathers flowers. Walking makes her hungry. The warm sun makes her sleepy. She spies a pretty house in the middle of the trees. Oh, who do you think lives there? Perhaps I can rest there, she thinks. Maybe they will feed me. She does not know that this house belongs to the three bears. Oh no! It's scary! Oh, he's not scary, he's alright. Inside the table is set for three. There are three chairs, a big chair, a medium-sized chair, and a tiny little chair. On the table there are three bowls of porridge. One big bowl, one medium-sized bowl, and one tiny little bowl. And there are also three spoons, a jug of milk, and a jar of honey. Goldilocks can look very well, doesn't she? Goldilocks climbs into the big chair first. This chair is too... Hard. Hard, she says. She tastes the porridge in the big bowl. This porridge is too hot. hot. Next, she tries a medium-sized chair. This chair is too soft, she says. She tastes the porridge in the medium-sized bowl, and this porridge is too cold. Oh, no. She's fussy, isn't she? Goldilocks sits down in the tiny little chair. It is very comfortable. She tastes the porridge in the tiny little bowl. It's not too hot and it's not too cold. This is just... Perfect. Perfect, says Goldilocks. She eats up every last spoonful of porridge. But Goldilocks is bigger than Baby Bear, and after a while, the tiny little chair starts to crack, and then it breaks into pieces. Oh no! She's fallen on the bottom. Goldilocks is tired. She goes upstairs. She finds three beds. A big bed, a medium-sized bed, and a tiny little bed. Tiny little bed. You're good at this, aren't you? She climbs into the big bed. This bed is too hard, she says. She climbs into the medium-sized bed. This one is too soft. It's too soft. Then she climbs into the tiny little bed. And it's not too hard and it's not too soft. This is just perfect, perfect like Mr. Oh, Andy, says Goldilocks. She I falls like fast bed. asleep. Like oh, she's asleep. What's going to happen? The bears return from the forest. What a lovely walk, says Daddy Bear. Let's eat. Then he looks at the breakfast table. Somebody's been sitting in my chair. Growls Daddy Bear. Somebody's been sitting in my chair, frowns Mummy Bear. And somebody's been sitting in my chair, wails Baby Bear. And they've smashed it all into little pieces. <laughs> oh no. They look at the balls on the table. Somebody's been eating my porridge, growls Daddy Bear. Was it you, Alex? I'm sure. Somebody's been eating my porridge, frowns Mummy Bear. Was it you, Steve? Somebody's been eating my porridge, Wells Baby Bear, and they've eaten it all up. Oh. I think it was Harrison. No. It's you. The three bears rush upstairs. Somebody's been sleeping in my bed, roars Daddy Bear. Somebody's been sleeping in my bed, cries Mummy Bear. Somebody's been sleeping in my bed, yells Baby Bear, and she's still there. Goldilocks opens her... She sees the three hairy faces looking down at her, a bit like me. A big face, a medium-sized face, and a tiny little face. Help! 
she cries. Mm -hmm. She jumps out of bed and runs all the way home. The three bears are surprised. Was I too fierce? Asked Daddy Bear. Was I too loud? Asked Mummy Bear. Oh, Baby Bear. I'll make some more porridge, says Mummy Bear. It's way past breakfast time. Mmm. Right, there we go. I think that's it. <laughs> the end! Yeah. Should we go and have some porridge? Okay.